be used to test this. And to do so, I've looked at other studies, such as gender studies and sus sustainable tourism management. I looked at these studies and um, checked what could in good indicators could look like. Uh, for example, does the local community have access to the site? Do both men and women have access to the site? Are there job opportunities? Is there pollution costs by the site? <coughs> and one of the techniques that I came across was the Delphi technique. And in this technique, a panel of scientists is set up to evaluate all the indicators. And indicators that don't need to be mentioned by multiple scientists, and indicators that are mentioned by more scientists will be uh, counted heavier in the total score. One of the other uh, methods that I used was interviews with several site managers. And I've looked at uh, three case studies, uh, Chatham and Youth in Turkey. I had also a conversation with Alec about this uh, site. Schokland, or Shockland, as most of you would say, in the Netherlands, and Tarragona in Spain. So in these interviews, I asked the site managers or archaeologists working on these sites about their perceptions on gender equality in relation to the World Heritage Management. Was there an active promotion by UNESCO on these policies? What the regional situation was like? And if there were job opportunities for the local communities? And if there were job opportunities, what kind of job opportunities? And if there was a division scene? See? No. Well, the results were rather disappointing. At the moment, UNESCO is not actively promoting gender equality or sustainable development in the World Heritage Program. There is not a framework provided to site management to include this into their program, but not everything was negative. Uh, I've also seen a lot of positive um, examples. For example, uh, I, I thought that there was a lot of attention paid at Chateau Yuc for including the local community, and I myself thought that there was an improvement of gender equality in the region. And also at Schokland and Terragona, there were both jobs for men and women, even though there was no specific gender policy. However, these are all perceptions from side managers that I've looked at, so I think that it would also be important to consult locals and local communities in further research and ask them if they feel the same. So while there's a gap between paper and reality, uh, I think there are good intentions on paper, but there is not yet a framework provided to make the reality uh, the same. I think there's a lot of potential since World Heritage Sites have a natural, um, I think they naturally obtain uh, sustainability. Mm -hmm. Since uh, if you look at World Heritage Sites and the management of World Heritage Sites, you, you think about the future and how you can preserve a site for the future. So I think in this way it carries a lot of sustainability already. Uh, but I do think that more awareness needs to be created. And um, in this way, I think further research is needed so that more indicators can be created and also other stakeholders can be consulted about these indicators. Uh, and this way, I think that uh, in the future there will be a good list of indicators that can test management policies and that can, for example, be used in the periodic reporting of UNESCO. So for further research, I would recommend that uh, for more implementation, more research is needed. We need to consult local communities about indicators, other stakeholders and scientists, and in this way create a more complete list. We need to ask uh, whether scientists and local communities, uh, for example, value the same indicators, because there can also be contradic contradicting indicators. You want to uh, promote gender equality, but do you want to do this, or do you want uh, the local um, culture to be preserved? So there's a lot of contradiction, and what kind of indicators value more? So I think that if we consult all the stakeholders, we can um, create a more complete overview of this. Um, so for the future, I'm not at all negative, but I think there's a lot of work that needs to be done and we still have a mission to do so. And thank you for your time. And if there are any questions, I would be happy to answer them.
Thank you very much. Thank you.